Hey guys, if you're trying to open Google Chrome on your computer but it's just not opening, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to show you the steps you need to take to fix this. There is no one fix all solution, so you will need to go through each of these methods to find the solution that works for you. So the first thing we're going to do is to make sure that Google Chrome is fully closed down by coming to the start menu and searching for task manager. Click on the task manager icon and in this search box at the top here, you want to type in Chrome and make sure you don't have any instances of Google Chrome running. If anything comes up in the list here, just make sure to right click and then select end task and then we can come out of this window next thing you want to do is come back to your start menu and search for chrome and you want to right click on the google chrome app and select open file location then from here we can right click on google chrome come into properties and then inside of the compatibility tab you want to make sure disable full screen optimizations is selected and also run this program as administrator is selected and then we can press apply and ok and we can double click on google chrome to open it if that doesn't work for you, the next thing we can do is check our firewall settings by coming back to the start menu and searching for Windows Defender. Click on the Windows Defender firewall and on this left hand side where it says allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender firewall, click on this and then we need to select change settings and you need to look through this list and we're looking for Google Chrome. As you can see, mine's already been added to the list and you need to make sure both private and public are checked. If you don't see Google Chrome in this list, all you simply need to do is come to allow another app, select browse and we need to find Google Chrome from our programs. If you're not sure where that's located, then we can come back to the start menu and search for Google Chrome. Right click on Google Chrome and select open file location. Copy all of this location at the top here. Come back to our firewall folder and we just simply want to paste everything we just copied and hit enter. Scroll down until we find the Google application and then we can select Google Chrome from here and select add. And then once you've added it to the list, once again, just make sure private and public are both checked and then we can select OK. Next thing you want to do is come back to the start menu and search for file explorer. Tap on the file explorer tab and you want to come into the C drive from the left here. Inside of program files, inside of Google, come into the Chrome folder underneath application and you should see the Chrome icon. All we want to do is right click on this and select rename and you just want to add a one at the end of Chrome and hit enter and then we can right click on this come into show more options and we're going to send this to our desktop to create a shortcut of google chrome now come over to your desktop and find the shortcut that we just created and you want to try launching google chrome from this shortcut another thing we can do is come to the start menu and search for run tap on the run icon and inside of here you just want to copy and paste all of this text I'm going to leave this in the description for you so you can copy and paste this yourself and then we just want to hit OK. And inside of this folder we want to right click on the default folder and we're going to press the trash icon to delete it. And then the last thing you can do if that's still not working is we can reinstall Google Chrome by first coming to the start menu and searching for programs. Select add or remove programs and then in this search box here just search for Chrome. Tap on the three little dots next to Google Chrome and hit uninstall. Once you've successfully uninstalled the application, then we need to head to an internet browser. I'm just going to use Microsoft Edge and you need to come to the website google.com backslash chrome and hit enter. Then from here, we can just press the download Chrome button and follow the steps on screen to re-download Google Chrome. Now, hopefully by following all of these steps, that's now fixed your issue with Google Chrome not opening. But if you still are experiencing problems, please drop a comment below and I'll try my best to assist you. If this video did help you, please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.